What time is it? Ah, uh, November. Oh, what did I miss? Pokemon remake, Smash Bros on Wii U, Far Cry 4, Dragon Age Inquisition, and a bunch of great indie games that uh, got overshadowed by all the hype. So not much then. Yeah, not much. Well, I'm gonna go back to sleep. Did you unload it for me? Sure thing, Joshi. <laughs>
history where war is glorified. This war of mine's gritty, solemn and ultimately real portrayal of war is more than necessary. The game itself is a simulation in which you take control of a group of civilians caught in the crossfire. This means gameplay is not epic fighting, but instead a desperate and mundane struggle to survive. The decisions and situations you're forced into are horrible, and much like gods will be watching, there is disturbingly no right or wrong in the pursuit to survive. This war of mine is not fun at all, but is more importantly, a peek into the awfulness of war through the eyes of civilians. Edmund McMillan has teamed up with Nicola Sink to remake Isaac on a non-flash engine. The procedurally generated Zelda dungeons and permadeath rules still remain. There are just a lot of new features. There are new characters, items, bosses and final chapter, as well as local co-op and the ability to save your game session halfway through. Perhaps the only issue with the game is how divisive the new 16-bit art style has been with fans of the original. Rebirth is Isaac Remastered, and that means hundreds of hours of more gameplay and poo. A lot of poo. Thanks for watching. My name's Lawrence. And my name's Josh. We'll see you next time here on the Informer.